have the patience to wait for a real score. Next time, feel free to bug out. We don't need our golden goose getting scratched. Because the bounty on your head gets bigger the longer you live. So we just want to make sure it stays that way. Now, pick him clean. So, you keep that pretty little mug of yours alive until it's enough for us to retire, okay? Be seeing ya. Kiss your shoes goodbye. Oh, you didn't need your little engine, did ya? We're docked.
It's dangerous out there. Glad people like you are around to help. I just knew the Rangers would come through. I never lost faith. You Rangers. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my route. Us among the stars again, Captain. this incident as the second time I've saved you. It's not a competition, Sam. Sure it isn't. So there's that time at the asteroid belt, the one on Neon. So, um, I still owe you three, Lillian. Four. You always forget that cargo freighter with the explosives. Four. Definitely four, then. But, uh, Captain, in all seriousness, your help is appreciated. Do me a favor. Next time I want to come to the rescue. Is Cora on board? Mom! Oh, babe girl. It's so good to hear your voice. Can we come over and visit? Sadly not now, honey. I'm still on the clock. Try never sleeps. <sighs> At this point, I'd settle for a cat nap. I can't imagine the chaos if the bad guys didn't know the rangers were down. I can. It's Neon. And it ain't pretty. Huh? Neon. Remind me again while we let them into the Free Star. And Captain, nice moves. It's good to know my daughter's in good hands. What about me? 
What about you, Sam? I'm kidding, kidding. You always said I need to have a better sense of humor. Uh, forget I ever mentioned that. <laughs> Take care. Just say what you need to say and move along. I need you to explain yourself. Now! You don't know where this is coming from? Really? You have to have some idea. Or are you deliberately being obtuse? Fine. I am yelling. That's fair. But this is actually serious. And I'm not joking here. Either you made a mistake, or you're not the person I thought you were when I said I'd travel with you. Okay. I'll listen to what you have to say, but I'm not going to accept excuses. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. You know, you mean a lot to me, and I trust you. I love you. We can get through this. Please learn from this. I want to explore the universe with you at my side, and if you do that again, I don't want to lose you over it, but that could happen. You have my attention, always. Of course. I'm all yours. Considering how many variables must have been negotiated in order for us to meet and fall in love, I'd say I'm the luckiest man alive. There are so many things that I want to see and do someday, but there's nothing I'd rather do right now.
thank you for that adventure. Ahoy, Captain! Bye! Want to try the Red Mile? Well, I'm game. Say the word and I'll clear my schedule. I might have some room in here. Let's see. You know, every conversation with you is precious to me. Red Mile has always had a complicated place in our society. You'll be talking to the other side of my boot if you keep trying to strike up a conversation. I don't get paid to be nice. I get paid to put down any vermin that tries to start something here. tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Mess around and find out. Hey, watch out. You cause trouble, and I will not hesitate to end you in any number of ways I see fit. This ain't the United Colonies, Cupcake. Here, you listen to me. I lead the security force. Because we have to deal with the dregs of society, like you. Because May lets us handle things our way. Best way to keep people in line is through fear. After you see your first head split open on the bar floor, 
you're gonna think twice about skipping out on your tab. Maybe you don't start that fight over your lost bet. You get it now? Call it whatever you want. We're ecliptic mercenaries, so I'd think twice about pissing us off, or else you may find yourself with nowhere to hide. What do you think, moron? Money. May pays us well to keep the assholes out. I make sure my people pretty much get the run of the place. Free booze, free entertainment, you name it. And if anyone's got a problem with it, well... We've got ways of making people disappear. Go bother someone else now. Can you believe that? Like I'm gonna run off without pay. What the hell kind of scum do they think I am? Get out of my face before I put a bullet in your head. Hey, you're the captain of that ship. Is your registration paperwork in order? Fine. Truth is, I don't really give a damn. I gotta ask, because it's my job, you know? And don't get me wrong. I used to care about running a tight operation. Had everything going nice and smooth. But when May started building this place up and hired those mercs, well, everything went straight to hell. I voiced my displeasure. And now I'm on the outs. Sure as May, she's got these big ideas about making this place some kind of must-see attraction for the whole settled systems. You'd think she'd care a little bit more about the quality of the damn starport. Anyway, I'm sure you're already sick of my bitching. If you need parts for that ship, or a top-up on the grab drive fuel, that's me. Yeah, we'll patch up. Why not? See you. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. If someone wants to Wonderful. Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. And here I thought the Rangers were supposed to be one big happy family. Yeah? Whoever gave you that idea doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. We're a collection of individuals, each with our own ideas and personalities. Believe me, we have our share of arguments. Doesn't that make it hard to work together? We put our duty first, even when it's difficult. Do you remember when you applied for this job fresh out of school, saying that you wanted to gain more practical, real-world experience? Well, it's not always... At least you've got a little backbone. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. Is something bothering you, Saki? I keep thinking I should well, run the horse someday. Something that's not just something. Let's hear it, dear. It's 
these ecliptic mercenaries. They keep demanding free drinks. When they refuse, they think you've got a chance in the red mile. Talk to me. It's always happy to have Donovan Reese. He ran the red mile nearly yeah, 30 well, times. Most folks never survived once. Take a seat. The man would have been a hell of an explorer. If you're looking to register, uh, you'll need to speak to Miss Divine. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. I hope that's not false bravado, deputy, because this is life and death we're talking about. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? My magnetic personality brought you back, right? Welcome to Red Mile. We've got clean rooms and neat drinks. Can I help you out with either of those? Or both? Ooh, what about both? Aside from the restaurant and hotel services, we offer full service starship maintenance and refueling. Just speak to our starport master, Lon Anderson. And don't mind him. He may be a lazy old fart, but when push comes to shove, he gets the job done. Sure, what would you like?
I'll be here if you need anything. I don't make chit chat with patrons. Pardon me? Uh, I don't have the stomach to bet if somebody survives the red mine, personally. To each their own. May fortune smile on you today. Ah, a new face. I wonder. Is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Over that whole death wish thing, maybe I'll... Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the Settled System's most exciting sporting event? Why even people from the most backwoods systems like Seoul have heard of the Red Mile? <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true, but Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Consequences like how you and your bloody weekend warriors are It's no small favor that you're asking. But yes, I can arrange such a meeting. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? I give you my word, which is something I never do lightly. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. <laughs> That's what every runner says. Who knows? Maybe the mile's not as bad as everyone says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Where the mile begins. Active 
having the beacon at the base of the tower you see in the distance. Once you've done so, return here alive and your run will be complete. Go now, runner, and see if you can survive the battle! Play by the house rules. Just between me and you, I've always wanted to do this. And with you, all the better. about that's the red mile over there i bet we can detect the adrenaline from here Uh, 
None for me, thanks. the operation is, the meaner secure.
going to join a crew. Any openings? Let me know if you change your mind. Thinking of running sometime? Talk to May and she'll fill you in. I'm on duty. Let's get the hell out of here. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. I don't know if it was brave or... You're back. Are you okay? Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Get the hell out of my face, you pretentious wanker. I'm already bored with this No, it's not that. I had a... a bad experience with another deputy that I was training. I'll tell you all about it after this is over, okay? So you need to stay alive or you'll never hear the story. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. I'll go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. You must be tougher than you look. Don't see a lot of people survive the mile. Yes? Well done. Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here waiting for you. Hey, you might want this. Hello, this is Mrs. Whitmore's sixth grade class. Uh, 
We are having a problem and need help. Please respond. Awaiting response? Love you make every day special. I was itching to travel with you again. Sam, you two better have some good adventures to tell me about later Requesting on. Emergency assistance. Adventure is my middle name. Well, not really, but now I kind of wish it was. Yes, you need me. Quiet. Please, unknown uh, contact. Respond. Ah, the brightest star in my sky has returned. Oh, thank you. The school district is supposed to do maintenance on the ships, but our grav drives cracked and leaking helium three. The ship can't jump right now. Um, what's helium-3? Helium-3 is a stable isotope of helium that is used as fuel for grav drives, Tashi. What's a grav drive? You know what a grav drive is. Or you should. You wrote a paper on it. <laughs> I'm not sure Billy does know what a grav drive is. Class, please, talk quietly amongst yourselves. This is important. Do you have any extra ship parts? Let me see. Mrs. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Is it a pirate? Pirates? There are pirates? What? No. No pirates. Everyone is safe. Landing on new planets like this never gets old. Marco's done well for himself. One might say too well. I mean, I would say that at least.
here to join the nice ship, huh? Got my eyes on you. The first don't mess around. This music is gonna put me to sleep. You're lucky to get a meeting with Mark. Why don't we have a room like this? Just full of knock-your-socks-off trophies. You know, really flaunt our success. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. No, oh, I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent a deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. This deputy might just surprise you, Marco. And who might you be? The name's Sam Coe. A name well known across the Freestar Collective. It's an honor to welcome a descendant of the great Solomon Coe. Yeah, well, that name probably means more to you than it does to me. Your deputy friend here could have a bright future. Assuming we all keep our heads. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You are on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction, in exchange. I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know. But you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Freestar Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today. Action time! Not need not.
Tango. Never wise to be in my way. Got moves. We got company, I think.
All you. Scratch one! Today's not gonna be your day, pal.
insertion achieved, we're spacebound again. This is Freestar Space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. And that's it. Enjoy that. Deputy! Welcome to the Rock, I guess. Elga says I spent too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom, down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because let me tell you, I am so close. Oh, come to daddy, you sweet little piece of technology. You go stalk your prey and leave the rest to me, deputy. Today's a peach of a day. Because of you. I don't know, you'd be interrupting some quality time of me thinking about you.
I've seen so much wonder in the universe, been everywhere, but nothing is as magical and wondrous as you.